What's going on, YouTube? Well, it's Chuck back with uh, another episode of Chuck's Hobby Spot. And we've been absent for about two weeks almost. Um, really, there hasn't been a lot going on, you know, to post a video. And I didn't want to post a real boring video, so uh, some of the stuff has just been primer and, and sanding, and I don't want to bore anybody, but... Um, I do have something interesting that I made a purchase on and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So a lot of us use Dremels or uh, rotary tools, I should say, in the in the uh, community here. So I went ahead and made a purchase on this one, Maker X, and I think it's uh, a Work X brand and, and the the reviews and quite well on on the reviews that four and a half to five stars so i went ahead and made the leap purchased it it was 99 bucks um and this is what it is here it comes with the 20 volt charger 20 volt battery and charger and it's cordless it's sort of cordless I, I don't really consider it cordless but here we go. And, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But there's the box. So the box art, we would say, in the hobby. Here is the rotary tool. It's a pencil type. It's kind of bigger than most, but that's okay. Uh, it's got the controller. And has the battery and charger. And it comes with... Some tools in the case which is going to be kind of handy so so i'm going to go ahead and use this for polishing and the reason why is i use one brand and have i have two two of them i, I forgot what it's called but they seem to run kind of dead before i'm done with the body or, or so 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 i like to paint like three bodies at a time and uh I'll show you something real quick how this works. I like to paint three bodies at a time so it never lasts the whole the whole I'm not saying it ain't a good one. It's it's a decent rotary tool, but it just I need something that's gonna last a while. I'm trying to see this without What am I doing? I don't know. I can't see from this far away, but Never mind, what am I doing? Duh. Duh. So it does work like this, and it's got a range. It's like 5,000, and it gets pretty high. Like 35,000. But you don't want to go that high when you're polishing. That's probably about as high as you want to go, I would say. Just barely turning it on. That's. 5,000 so I can go somewhere in between 5 and 10 to polish a, a vehicle so and it's from what I understand it's always hooked to this so it that's why I call it not cordless but uh it, here's the reason why I actually let me get this out of the way here so I can show you maybe uh the reason why I needed something that was going to last a while is because I do multiple cars at once. Here's one of the cars I'm doing here is the Nova. Can you can you guys see it? This has no clear on it yet. This is just uh, paint. And what I what I took back into was the Fairlane again. Yep, I brought it back from the dead. It's got to get clear on it. All these are scale finish paints. That's what I like to use. These are all scale finish paints. So no clear yet, just, just paint. So this is actually what I've been, this is what I've been up to lately. So getting body works done on here that there's the nova two novas and one i'm going to do pro street one i'm going to do like a pro touring type with maybe something like this i don't know if you guys can see is it 
Let me try to move the camera here. Uh, hold on just a sec, bear with me. Something like that. That's a Zimmerman wheel, by the way. And you guys already seen what I was gonna do to the, the, the fair lane. And I thought it was a good time to bring back the fair lane just because I'm doing a 66 Nova. Why not do a 66 fair lane, right? That's kind of cool. Here is the version I'm gonna do on this one. It's gonna be Pro Street with these on there. Let's see if I can bring this off here. Something like that. So that's gonna be kind of bitching. So that's what I'm uh, on to now. So, <clears throat> but I've been watching videos still. I just been kind of busy with life and uh, I'd like to try to do a video a week or maybe even two, but this week has been kind of one of them weeks that I just, I haven't had a chance to do that. So I apologize and, and thought I'd do a, a quick little shop update. The 66 Fairlane is is pretty far along. I, as far as paint goes, I'm still going to clear it. And then I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'm going to put the, the stripe on that I had on there. Probably. I thought I liked it. Uh, it is going to have the black hood on it. It's going to look, it's going to have this hood on there. So it will look like this. I could have probably do the Nova, the orange Nova with two types of hoods. One being the stock hood because it's more of a pro toy. And then I ordered a, a cow hood for it, which will probably be the other hood. It's a slight cow hood. This is going to have that pro street hood that actually came with the model. So, um, with that being said, this is pretty much all that's going on today. I'm going to get some clear coats done. I got my airbrush here all apart, ready to put back together. So I'm probably going to clear at least two of these today, tomorrow. Maybe if I put them in the dehydrator, I'll probably be able to start polishing them tomorrow. Maybe put up another video by Wednesday. So, uh, again, this stuff is scale finishes. You guys can see how nice it lays. It lays beautiful, man. And it's like effortless, effortlessly scale finishes that's what i use and right there's the h or house of color but you can see let me see if i can move the camera up here that's a lot of my stuff i use is scale finishes right there all that scale finishes so and you, you get a discount if you put in chucks 10 pretty pretty simple um and that I'll put up right here somewhere, Chuck's 10. So I did miss the model meetup yesterday, the club meeting yesterday. So that, that I did miss and uh, my back wasn't feeling too great yesterday. So I kind of stayed home. I, I have to have a, uh, I have to be in tip top condition for my job because I'm bending over stuff all the time when I'm welding. So um, pretty much, that's about all that's going on in the shop. I don't really want to bore anybody too much, but thought I'd show the paint jobs off before the clear and then an after on them. So, and a, a, a cool tool review. So I'll let you guys know how it works on the polishing and then we'll go from there. But uh, I appreciate you guys hanging in there waiting for the video. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why you guys watch this crap. You know, that's my thing. Everybody tells me I should get a t-shirt that says, why do you watch this crap? I think I'm gonna actually. So uh, with that being said, you guys take care, have a great Sunday and I'll be watching for videos and maybe I'll post another one next week. You guys take care and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.